What is it that you're going to be telling people today at the WSI Digital Summit? Well, I've got a bit of a rant today. <laughs> um, I believe in getting back to basics in terms of actually building customer relationships. I think people have gone a little overboard with digital tools in terms of just focusing on them as, as uh, sales drivers. But actually what you want is you want to build really positive customer relationships. You want them actually coming to you and being glad when you actually email them or contact them through social media so that then they come back to you, they want to buy your stuff, but it's because they know, like and trust you already. But there's a lot of companies out there that are on send, they're, you know, they're sending emails, they're sending social media, you know, and there's this big frenzy. How do people get through that cluster and how do you build real relationships? Well, you start off by actually asking people to opt in to hear from you. That's got to be the main key point. We don't believe in buying lists and in fact you can't use a bought list with constant contact at all. So what you have to do is you have to offer something of value. So you decide you're going to send out a weekly or monthly newsletter, whatever it is, and you decide what's going to be in that that's actually useful to your audience and if you don't know ask your current customers um, find out what their their questions are what things they want to know about your products services and your industry and then you can package that up and you can send it out on a regular basis and in terms of what's happening in the world of digital marketing what's what's been the most exciting thing in the last 12 months um, I don't know, it's not completely new from the last 12 months, but I think it's just getting more and more obvious. It's this idea of mobile first, and I think people are going social first now as well. So when I meet startups, often they, instead of creating their own website in the first place, they'll actually just have a Facebook page or something like that, especially kind of the small retail-based organizations, um, and maybe they'll hop straight to Twitter. So they'll use those two tools rather than investing in a website in the first place. Um, and I think that there's a benefit to that for them because it means that they can actually figure out who their customers are, what they want to hear from and what they want to hear from them about and then when they invest in things like websites they can actually uh, do that with some foreknowledge that makes sense.